Hey everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today we will be unboxing a package I received in the mail. This package is actually a 1963 Bell & Howell Auto Load Zoom Reflex 315 camcorder. Now these camcorders are very hard to come by and require some skills to set up. And unlike film camcorders these days that use SD and compact flash, these cameras use what are called 8mm, double 8mm, or super 8mm film. And in the old days, these kinds of cameras required a projector in order to play a film. If you ever walked into a movie theater and saw a movie, you would find that this kind of film, uh, a film projector uh, was needed to produce the images that you saw on the big screen. The film that this camera requires is known as 8mm and or double 8mm film. Um, this, movie, this camera was actually produced two years before Super 8mm film was introduced, and so to begin with, the most commonly used film stocks were produced by Kodak, and in particular the 10 ASA Kodachrome Color Reversal Stock, with its di distinctive color rendition and fine grain, was closely associated with the format. Kodachrome 2, rated at 25 ASA, was introduced in the early 1960s, and Kodak, although its 16mm stocks are still re-perforated and re-spooled by other companies, other film stocks from different manufacturers such as Agfa's, Agfa Chrome, were also available. However, Kodachrome's excellent archival qualities mean that old 8mm film can still appear remar mar remarkably fresh if stored in the correct conditions. And if you walk into a mil uh, movie theater these days, you would find that a digital projector produces the images on the screen that you'd see because they use digital cameras. And as you can see, as we open the package, we'll notice that it does come with a lot of packaging materials. Um, now, I bought this from somebody who owned the camera before, so it's not going to come with everything you see. As you can see, it does not come with the box that the camera actually came with. However, it does come with basically everything you would need. Uh, the manual is also not included, so I apologize for that as well. So let me just get my uh, hold on. Let me let me get my screwdriver out to pull this thing off because the tape does uh, get in the way if you're trying to talk about what it comes with. And as you can see, the case uh, is this is the original case that the camera comes with the, with the nice little Bell and Howell logo on the front. Now this does show a little wear and tear, as you can see on the side right there. It does have a little tear. I apologize. We can fix that at the vintage camera store right by my house. But the camera does come with the camcorder itself as well as the extra film that the uh, person I purchased it from told me that it had. As you can see on the side, we have a, the camera itself, uh, the little bar, the uh, animation button as well as the lock run button. On the side right here, I'm about to pull off this little bar that actually respools the camera when you are recording. So about every minute or every f 15 uh, frames or so, the camera will stop recording, and you're gonna have to respool re the uh, camera or the camcorder all the way till it says full uh, wind on the side. That little uh, glass opening right there, you can see, and that'll indicate that you can continue uh, filming. But I'm gonna lock that up and just show you what else it comes with. As you can see. I'm messing with the animation button. Now at the top you will see the button you press to film and on the side right here we will open the tape mechanism to show you how the actual camera films. If you ever see it in cassette tapes they have uh, film on the inside. That's basically how this works. As you can see you have to open that up in order to put the 8mm film inside and then close it up again and put it back in the camera and then close the actual camcorder itself in order for you to continue recording. Now since it's double 8mm film you can flip over the tape and continue recording on the other side. On the front you will see the actual lens itself. This is a zoom lens so it will obviously zoom. We have two types, type A and type and haze. Type A is for indoor recording and haze is for everything else. At the bottom you will see the handle and it's adjustable to your liking. You can move it as well as on the side you will see that it comes with a viewing lens for you to actually see what you're recording and on the side you'll have a zoom or focus uh, button in order for you to change the focus. On the top you'll see a little screw as well that's for if you want to uh, mount a light or, or whatever you want to do to it. It looks like a tripod type of thread. On the top you'll see the ASA modes 40, 25, 16, and 10 depending on what kind of film you're using. That little metal bar is also for zooming and this is you can also zoom using the actual zoom on the front. I prefer using that, but you are supposed to actually use that little metal bar to change the zoom. It's not there. It's not broken, so don't worry about it. But that's about the that's about what comes with the camera itself. Again, this is a used camcorder, so it may show some signs of wear and tear. But overall, this camera actually is comfortable. I don't see any uh, kinks or any marks on it. Um, 
So I think it was kept in per pretty good condition. The per person I purchased it from told me that he found it in his grandfather's garage, and his grandfather kept everything pretty well, uh, pretty well maintained. So I am glad that I bought this camera when I bought it. Um, also, the camera comes with a little manual. This manual is not actually for the camera. This is actually for the film. But we're going to demonstrate uh, what the film is used for because this is kind of important when you want to record. This kind of film is used for daylight recording, color daylight recording. This is the Kodachrome 25 movie film, so we're going to use ASA 25 in order to record. Not a big deal, um, but that's about it. As you can see on the back, it gives you some notices and processing um, tips and stuff like that. And the person I purchased it with uh, let it come with a an extra double eight millimeter uh, film roll. It is a 7.5 meter or 25 uh, foot roll, which is about 10 meter 10 minutes of recording, depending on how many frames you record per second. And so, this, as I said before, Kodak is a very good company, so they like to uh, make everything look nice. This hasn't been opened yet, as you can see. So we're not going to use that until we want to get some serious filming. And once I invest into an actual uh, projector, I will not be able to show you the film that this camera produces. But that's about it. As you can see, the camera, the camcorder, comes with the uh, Zoom Reflex 315 camera by Bell & Howell itself, as well as the Kodachrome 25 film and the leather case that it orig originally came with. I'm going to fix the case itself. But that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and if you have any questions, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And until next time, this is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching.